Hello there, and welcome to another LEGO review. This is a Creator 3-in-1 of 31120 Medieval Castle. It has 1,426 pieces, three minifigures, and you can make three different sets as usual. The main one being this cool castle, which will be the main thing we look at. We also are going to go ahead, we're going to build up this tower and uh, trebuchet build and we're gonna go ahead and skip this one because it doesn't look like it uses hardly any of the pieces it's really pretty boring you can see you get a wall a small windmill and a little armor stand so that's all you're gonna see of that one all right we're gonna go ahead we'll show you this build next and then we'll get to the main event all right, so we got it all built up here, and I'm going to say it took quite a long time after we had separated all the bags to build the tower. We had to find all these pieces on their own, and that was quite tedious, but we, uh, we got it done. First, we're going to look at the side builds and the minifigures. What we got here? We got this dragon. And it's, Go ahead. It's got... Two wings, two legs, it's just pretty much a side build. And it looks looks pretty cool from certain angles. You can pose it pretty good if you like stick it onto some studs, but it does not like to stand up because the joints, the joints and the feet and legs there are really weak, can't really support the weight even of this light little thing. But that's okay, it's just kind of a bonus, it's cool. And they throw in these chickens couple different designs there two of the same they have this well with a frog that sits off to the side and they show this like vulture or buzzard in various places I thought you could just stick it on like there's a bucket sitting on the well and you could just stick him on there they show him on top of the castle but the torches are in the way of what it shows on the box so I'm not sure the figures are interesting and Obviously getting classic castle figures is very cool. However, I would only count two of these as I've heard other people say that there's some question about what is the central figure here. Well, I have a theory. So I'm not going to go into detail. If you are interested in castle stuff, you've seen the Black Falcons before. What I find interesting though is if you compare them to the recent Medieval Blacksmith set, I do believe that the old man is the equivalent of that guy. This is a female under the helmet, you can tell, even though there's no hair. And I think it's supposed to be her. And then this guy, even though it's not very close, I think he's supposed to be the blacksmith there. Like the lo-fi creator compared to the premium version. That's just my theory, because otherwise he's a guy with a dirty face, a pirate torso, black pants, doesn't make a lot of sense. So I think that's what's going on there. Now we're going to go ahead and we'll focus on the main build. So here we have the castle, and it's built in a modular style. There's basically three parts to it. And they come apart very easily, which could be a negative or a positive, I suppose. But let's go ahead and look at the front part here. You can see the front. There's these towers, some arrow slits, some banners that look pretty good built out of bricks, and then just some like water detailing. A drawbridge that does work with a mechanism off to the side. It can be locked shut or open and then you can release it with the mechanism that's in the little yellow building there go ahead and turn that around and look at the back you see a tree and a mushroom on the side there too and if we look at the back there you can see the mechanism for working the drawbridge otherwise just an empty room like a gatehouse i guess you'd call that there's these rooms where soldiers with bow and arrow could go however we only have the two so i have them on the tops of the turrets up top there's a back view of that and then there's another room here that's just empty you could put whatever you want in there which I plan on fleshing out there's a small room here with a little medieval toilet and then not making sense they have toilet paper should have a pile of leaves or whatever they used back then but two more empty rooms at the ground floor and then you can see the blue piece there where it connects to the other sections and on this side it's a nougat piece with a latch and there's a little more detail of the tree all right let's look at the other parts 
So here we have a pretty significant tower. A lot of room for somebody to stand up top. Another murder hole, arrow slit, whatever you want to call that, to fire out of. There's a jail cell with a skeleton who's been forgotten, apparently. Kind of almost like they're torturing him by having him right next to the food stand that he can't access with some bread and some fruit. And then there's a feature here where the prisoner, sadly, didn't realize he could have easily been busted out all along. But, alas, it never happened. And there's a look at the outside of that section. All right. And then we get the final section. Here's the mysterious pirate blacksmith guy headed down to work. And in this last section, probably the most detailed, you see the blacksmith guy. He's headed down to work. There's a rat on the stairs. Kind of funny. And then there's the forge back in there with some flames detailing. It's dark. I apologize. Suit of armor he's made. There's an anvil here, which... It will work, the hammer will work with the mechanism on the outside, I'll show you in a minute. And there's like the king's little, very small throne room that has a throne, a rug, and a fireplace with a candle. Makes it a shame a set didn't come with a king, but we have some we could throw in there. And then that just has a, a door on the outside, so that's one place that is built up. If you just turn it around, the outside looks pretty cool with the classic yellow style. A target for target practice down below there. And then there's the water wheel that spun the hammer. Some more water detailing, some more crenel wall pieces, nice chimney, nice detailing. And you can see a like weather vane with a crow on top of it. And I don't know if that's supposed to actually be a crow or just part of the weather vane, because either way makes sense. So that is what you get. And if you hook it all back together, like he's been doing here, spread it out, you can get quite a nice display when it's fully spread out, and like I said, you could add some things in those rooms along the walls up in this tower. You could add a lot to add detail. It would also look a lot cooler if you put soldiers all along the ramparts and whatnot. But, yeah, I mean, it's a very cool castle set. It's I could tell when I got the box and started opening it that the it's a little smaller than I thought it might be. There's a top view, but it's not bad, and it's very tall. It's very cool. I think it would have benefited from a few more of these Black Falcon guys, but they just don't tend to do that much in creator sets. So, yeah, that's what we got. I'd give it a four. I'll go four and a half out of five. What do you think? Uh, four and a half out of five. I agree. Could have got a five. Maybe he gave us four Black Falcons and a King, but anyway... That's what we got. We hope you like, subscribe, tune in for the next video, and we will say... Good day.